stay tuned to find out how to create this table makeover. To begin, you'll want to sand down the top of the table. This table has a smooth finish over laying the wood grain, and so you want to rough it up so that the paint will stick a lot better. Once you get done sanding, you'll want to wipe it off with a wet wipe and then allow it to dry. Once the table was dry, I painted a wide strip of black paint in the middle of the table. I did not worry about the line being too straight on both sides, only because I am going to end up covering the ends of the table with, you guessed it, marble contact paper. You can make the strip as wide or as thin as you want. Mine was pretty wide, and it's only because I'm going to, in the next slide, you'll see, paint a pattern on top. Next, I just took some washi tape and used it as a layout for the pattern that I wanted to add additional paint to. So you just lay down your washi tape, tape out the pattern that you want, and then paint the different blocks that you have blocked off in whatever colors that you want. I used a white and a gold so that I could make it pop out and stand out a little bit more from the table. Once the paint is fully dry, you can remove the washi tape, go slowly and carefully. If any of the black paint does come up, use your foam brush to do touch-ups. The last step is to add your marble contact paper to the ends of the table. You can measure out your starting point and it can cover some of the black paint and that will be what creates a straight line on the edge of the table from where the paint stops and the contact paper begins. Take your time, move slowly and make sure to get out any air bubbles from under the contact paper. You can also work in smaller sections than I did by removing the piece of paper underneath as you go. And here is the finished craft table makeover. What do you guys think? Do you like the design and the pattern? What about the marble contact paper ends? I think that it gave the table a completely new look and it made it more sophisticated. What kind of pattern would you guys have painted? Leave me a comment down below and let me know whether you like the table, what kind of pattern you may have done, or what you would have done different if you were to recreate this makeover. Thanks for joining me for another video this week. I appreciate everybody who has been in the DIY Clubbers from the beginning. Thank you for sharing the videos, liking the videos, telling other people to subscribe, and leaving your comments. It is much appreciated. I hope you guys are doing really well and enjoying making your own DIY crafts. And I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're having a great day. And I hope that you guys always keep creating. All right. I love you guys. And I will see you next Tuesday for another DIY video.
Love you.